this is the continuation of previous video we are removing dummy code from our bookstore application now we will update all the links to have a proper navigation in this application okay now let's start with this um, home button go to vs code editor let's open this um, toolbar component.html file see here we are having this material icon button let's remove this class and area label from here here we will use router link here we can use uh, forward slash to navigate to home page and save the changes let's see in the browser click this home button so there is no change click this about us how it works again click this home button so it is working fine now let's add the router link uh, in this all books button here let's add router link books let's update the path in book routing module file see here we are we have written redirect to while we are learning about this routing concepts we have written this redirect to now we do not need this redirect to and path match let's remove it from here instead we will use component here we will use all books component and remove this line as well and we have to remove this path component and children uh, we can use this uh, two lines directly from from here so delete these extra lines from here and paste it and save the changes <coughs> because uh, in this application we are using lazy loading concept that is why we are using like this we have written the base route in this app routing module file okay now let's see in the browser if i click on this all books see here this page is working fine click this home button this page also working fine um, both home button and all books button are working fine now let's remove these links from here so go back to vs code editor here let's open this books component.html file here remove this link from here and choose format document and save the changes let's open this books component remove this id and author id from here and remove this code from this ng on init method and save the changes now let's open this app component.html file let's remove this commented bootstrap code from here and remove this toolbar code also and in this div we are having few links let's remove this div from here okay save the changes in this html file now we are having toolbar router outlet and footer we have written this toolbar and footer um, in this app component.html file so app component is the master file for all other modules so no need to define this toolbar and footer in every place in all the places we can only use this router outlet now let's open this uh, auth module let's open this auth component.html file see here here we are using auth header and footer if you want to keep the header and footer specific to the module then we do not want to define it in the app component.html file in our scenario uh, we do not need this auth header and footer so let's remove it from here and save the changes let's see in the browser see here we are not having any links in this page okay now let's create the link for login and sign up button go back to vs code editor in the toolbar component.html file we have this button okay let's create the let's add the router link here for login page the path will be auth and then login let's do the same thing for route sign up button let's add the router link and then path will be auth and then sign up 
let's verify this um, in the app routing module file see so here we have this login and sign up and save the changes let's see in the browser click this login button okay it is working fine click this sign up here we have the sign up page um, click this login page see here uh, in this page we are having some things uh, okay let's remove uh, these things from this page go to vs code here let's open this login component dot html file let's remove these things from here and save the changes let's open this login component here also remove these properties and remove these two methods that we do not need and remove these codes from this ng on init method and save the changes okay now let's see in the browser click this login and sign up it is working fine now we have to create the link for about us and how it works in the footer and in the all books page we must have the link for book details page let's do that go back to vs code editor here let's open this footer component.html file here uh, for learning purpose i am using this math toolbar you can use footer tag and design it as per your choice here let's use the router link we can copy the path from app routing module so this is the path for about us and copy it paste it here and let's do the same thing for how it works so copy this path from here paste it here and save the changes let's see in the browser click this about us and how it works how it works okay i missed the yes here okay and save the changes let's see in the browser login and sign up how about us how it works all are working fine okay now in the all books page we must have the link for book details okay let's do that let's open this books module let's open this all books component dot html file here uh, let's use anchor tag go to book details and let's use the router link uh, let's see the url for book details in book uh, books routing module file see here in this url we are passing two parameters uh, but now it is not required so let's remove this author or author id from here and remove this part also book details we need uh, this id only and save the changes let's update the path here books and let's pass some outcoded uh, id value let's say 2 and save the changes now go to the browser click this go to book details okay here we have the id author id and name we have to get this value from database now let's uh, remove it from this page so go to vs code editor let's open this book details dot component dot html file here let's remove this author id and name from this template and open this book details dot component page here remove this author id and name property and remove this line and we do not need query params so let's remove it from here and save the changes in this uh, html template i want to display this id only and this message okay let's see in the browser click this home button now click this all books 
click this go to book details see here we are having this id value here okay it is working fine all books login sign up and about us how it works everything is working fine now uh, we are having clean and simple application we can use the link for this part also i hope this video is helpful to you if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this